Uh, let's go back and look at the turning point. You know, where yeah. did this race turn when it all started going Kevin Harvick's way? Yeah, well, because up until this point, really, the race looked like, you know, what you would expect at Michigan. Some very fast race cars. I think the 19 and 11 were kind of controlling the race. Some of the Penske cars. But then, as always, at Michigan, the yellow comes out, lap 149. <laughs> the reason I say, as always, because that's about three laps outside of what we expected the fuel window to be. I think it's not even a gamble. 26 cars came down pit road, Jeff. You have to come down pit road. You have to gamble, but you have to execute on these pit stops. Yeah, you do. And you can see, you know, you see right here, Kevin Harvick. He was not the first one on pit road. He comes on to pit road, gets in his pit box. He stays here for a little bit longer than other people do, right? He sits here, he loses some spots, leaving pit road. You see the 22 going by. Look who the first car off pit road is. A 12 car, first car off pit road. Kevin Harvick, he did not come off first. Well, I like this car right here for Ryan Newman, DJ. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson had yep. trouble. The 14 of Clint Boyer had trouble. So Ryan Newman's crew chief brings him down the next lap, one extra lap of fuel for the six car. Yeah, and this is knowing the situation and, and taking that in control. That's what always amazes me about crew chiefs, understanding the situation and then making the most of that, and this would become valuable fuel that they had there. So here, you go. here we have the restart on lap 153. Now watch, pay attention. Kevin Harvick is... He's on the bottom lane, seventh. That's not where you wanted to be. You did not yep. want to be on that bottom lane back in the pack, but he makes it work. He gets by some really good cars right here. You see Blaney's driven out in front. That move right there, Kevin Harvick blocking the, the, blocking the car, keeping that outside lane. And then Martin Truex Jr., watch this very aggressive move. He puts it three wide on the bottom, and that does not work out for Martin. Yeah, probably is thinking or thought after the race that that was the move that may have cost him any chance whatsoever to have an opportunity to run, uh, make a run at the win. Well, now it's up to the time. Let the chess games begin. 42 laps to go. You see Logano leading wide open throttle. Well, watch these green dots right here of Ryan and Blaney. 80%, maybe 70% throttle. It's one thing to do it in the corner. He was even doing it down the straightaway, saving fuel. These drivers are doing more than just driving fast. They're also trying to be as conservative as possible with the fuel. Yeah, and so Kevin Harvick, when, as soon as he came off pit road, they said, we're good. Yep. We're good. So he was hammered down the entire run, had a very fast race car, passed Joey Logano. I think Joey Logano, he was also hammered. I mean, I don't think he had a choice. He was also running as hard as he could. Uh, then Brad Kay, they recognized they did not have enough uh, fuel mileage to make it, so he, had pit, he hit pit road. This one didn't shock me that said they had an issue. They knew they were 10 laps short, but I tell you what did shock me is I thought even though these guys were trying to win the race, more would have known the situation with all the telemetry these crew chiefs have anymore. You can see how much fuel your driver's burning. Well, here it is with four laps to go. You see the different guys up front. We have Hamlin, but really focus on the 22 there in second, and you have Blaney in fourth, and all the way back in eighth, Kurt Busch. The reason those matter, it says none of the three end up inside the top 10 when all the laps finish. So here's Joey Logano. He's having to pit road, hit pit road. Uh, lap 198 has no choice. They know they're going to run out of fuel. It's no sense being in denial, right? You hate to make this call, but you have yeah. to. Yeah. So he's on pit road, gave up a ton of spots, and that's big. Yes. There's a regular season championship that's right. on the line. Yep. Kurt Busch out of gas. Had a great day all day long. It looked like he was going to be in the top five. Blaney here, kind of a different story with, with them. Uh, they made a little bit of a mistake to put themselves in that position. And mm -hmm. you have the Menard runs out with the 21. You're going to see the, I think it's the 37 of Busher right here. The three of Austin Dillon is already out. He's coasting, luckily coasting faster than Busher though. And then you just, I mean, what a, I mean, two miles. Two miles of racing really changed the outlook. Because now remember, yeah. take a peek. Kyle Larson, big gain on the final lap. And you don't see the one of Kurt Busch. He had a bad finish and sunk my fantasy team when he ran out of gas. A uh, lot can happen in a few miles race. <laughs> hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.